to join a company called Webcentric. We're doing a lot of Java projects, especially, especially we have product called uh, Price to Spy. It's uh, for retailers. Uh, it's way if, re if you are a retailer, I would like to compare some prices uh, to offer a better price. We have a tool for this, which is compare a lot of uh, crowd, a lot of websites like Amazon and other websites to get the best prices. We do machine learning, we do image processing, and uh, every stuff to crowd and give you the best comparison prices to offer for your customers in your country. So, wow. Uh, so is it a startup, a big company? Uh, it's uh, it's have been there for ten years now. Okay. It's a very big company. It's not uh, small, but uh, it's it's going to join some sort of such company with a new product, when you, in the new lab, new idea, even a new culture too. For me, <laughs> it's an adventure. You are also you involved with uh, Java Java SE. The yes. 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 So so what do you think about um, Java Ten? Or what Java? is yeah? What is mm -hmm. What are we, you interested uh, in Java 10? Yes, uh, I'm very interested in Java 9, really, yeah. because it's very big change in the industry and bring modularity to the uh, to the Java community and uh, programming language like Java, which is very, very old language. And it took too much time because the compatibility issues and we'd like to modularize not just modularizing the code we are modularizing the gdk itself so uh, the benefit is we can scale down our uh, gdk and our application to work correctly and performant way on scale down uh, uh, devices at the same time it's very relevant for cloud computing and uh, like if you would like to deploy your uh, application micro profiles and cloud and serverless it's very amazing there java 10 is continuing to improve the compiler Sp compiler is getting very smarter than before and at the same time we're trying always to reduce the boilerplate code the developers have to write for just a couple of sentences it's like you know it's dynamic language in the co at compiler level but it's commitment to be statically typed language which is strongly uh, take benefits of the memory and handling all the other stuff. So Java term, uh, it will offer variable, uh, local variable inference, which is it's like any dynamic language where you type just var, var x equal whatever you want, then it will infer at compile time the type and uh, at runtime it will statically get this type so you can change it, but it will make you uh, very productive to, to provide this, the other enhancement goes to the GVM and compiler to make it better uh, performant and at the same time handling the memory issues and better startup b alongside the modularization and enhancement and bug fixing and all of this. This is very good also to note that we are going to release Java every six months with the naming of Java 10, 11 and so, so forth for this. Why? Because we need to give you all the features at your hand at the same time, not waiting for a long, long, long time for the release, but it's your, at your hand. Maybe sometimes it's an incubation uh, uh, features, so you can try it and give us the feedback so we can enhance it and give you the, the other release. So you get touch with the, with the uh, GDK release. This is also reflect Java EE which is based, which is now a Java for, uh, a Java for EE mm -hmm. uh, after uh, acquisition uh, and uh, donation to Eclipse Foundations, but uh, Java EE 8, uh, which is released, now it's uh, very reliable for cloud computing and serverless functions and all of this. And Java 9 and 8 bring modularity, which is very reliable for Java EE. So it's ecosystem. Can you drill a little bit into like how is Java SE going to help people? I mean Java EE or people with uh, web frameworks. But the concept of modularity, which mm -hmm. comes to JavaScript world and the other mod uh, modular programming languages, uh, for Java it's very important because we're trying to uh, develop a not monolith, and now it's server microservices uh, architecture around us. It's, uh, it's microservice services architecture is not uh, a solution for everything, but when you come for big, very big pro project, it's better to modularize it for, be for productivity, for maintenance of uh, your code base and everything. Java 10 provide 
modularity alongside with Java 9. For sure, it will get benefit from the other, uh, the other frameworks will get benefit of this, especially Java EE frameworks and the, the specification itself. So it's very easy to just develop a very small size component to be deployed on micro profile and Docker based uh, containers on cloud and even the serverless functions you can use using modularity benefits from JDK 10 on your Java EE side. Did you, uh, I mean, did you implement or did you uh, migrate any project to Java 9? Or to J yeah, in, in my company I tried to do this uh, as a part of my, uh, there is a monolith project, I tried to use Java EE and GDK 9 as a proof of concept. This is what I am going to introduce in my course I'm doing for pack publishing that will be released in this March. Uh, it's about GDK 9 modularity, and I'm going to talk about GDK 10 also. And there is another volume, so it will get benefits of transforming this wow. uh, to get inside mm -hmm. how we do uh, migration for old code and how Java 9 also uh, uh, provide us a very good tools that facilitate the migration of your old code base to the new ecosystem, which is based on modularity and the uh, module pass system that or any tips that you have uh, it's uh, the, the main tip don't afraid from the module system it's very easy and we have saved the compatibility we have now the class pass and the module pass and we have a very good tools I, as I have said for migration that will help you from automatic uh, module uh, unnamed modules uh, JDEPS tools that make it analysis for your JAR classes so you can understand the dependencies and how to migrate and all of this we provide to smooth migration to Java 9 start now because we are developing for every six months so you have to be very uh, informative with the what's new and follow us on the, our channel to know what's, uh, what's new in the industry and take chance of migration and the new systems and the benefits of the new very good performance compiler and systems and modular system that we bring. So do you recommend that uh, people wait maybe for the for the bigger releases, the ones that have like a support as well? So I think I, I think that we don't have to wait for this. We we can get we can get early uh, if access. they want to migrate. Yes, yeah. you have to get your hand dirt with this with the code and understand what's going on. So you are prepared. You are prepared. Your thinking, your design, or everything. Once it's released because it's very short release time. So uh, you don't have a long time to plan. So it, yes, plan and be prepared. Once it's released, you can use it normally. So it's just six months. So you can migrate your code base very, very early. Okay. Yes. Cool. Thank you so much, Mohamed. You're welcome. It's Thank my you. pleasure.